Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. The paging file found in the Windows operating system is important to how the operating system works and functions. So if you are interested and if you want to stick around, uh, in this video we are going to have a look at a couple of different aspects of the Windows page file. Things like where it can be found, how it can be configured and is it beneficial to the overall performance of your operating system. Now before we get into all of that, um, in case you're unaware, just to do a quick overview as to what the page file is and what it's all about. A page file is also known as a paging file and it's also known as virtual memory and it's an optional hidden system file on your hard drive or your SSD. Now according to Microsoft, it's a physical extension of your RAM and page files enable the system to remove infrequently accessed modified pages from physical memory to let the system use physical memory more efficiently for more frequently accessed pages. Now that's quite a mouthful, but just to break that down for you, and basically if you have your page file enabled, what the system will do is it will take your less frequently used apps data and information, it will take that out of memory and it will place it into the page file or the virtual memory on your hard drive and then it will take uh, your more frequently used apps data and info and it will pop that into physical RAM, the RAM on your device and as an example in case you're unaware the reason for that is that um, information that's accessed from RAM can be accessed a lot quicker than information accessed from a hard drive as an example. Now, and um, with that out of the way, um, something else to take note of. Um, page files can be used also to support system crash dumps. And as I did mention, they extend how much system committed memory, also known as virtual memory, a system can support. Now to find out how much um, memory your system can support, um, system committed memory, it's quite simple to do on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So what we need to do is head over to the task manager. In the task manager, head over to the performance page and then click on memory. Now yeah, on the memory page, you will see committed with two figures available. The figure to the right, 9.3 gigabytes uh, in my case. Now uh, in my example, that's broken down into 8 gigabytes of physical RAM installed on this laptop and then the rest of that is the virtual memory, my page file located as mentioned on my hard drive and then the 6.6 .6 to the left, that's the currently the uh, total amount of RAM my system is using out of 9.3 gigabytes of total system memory available. Now to configure the page file, I would suggest uh, just right clicking on your start menu, head over to system, click on that and that will open up the settings app and you head over to the system about page and on that about page um, for Windows 11 you click on advanced system settings and for Windows 10 users this will be called advanced system properties which is located on the right hand side of the page so you click on that and this will open up the legacy system properties menu. Now it's selected advanced so you head to performance click on settings and on this page and menu you click on advanced again and here you'll see virtual memory at the bottom. And as I did describe, it says a paging file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. Now my total paging file size for all drives is 1542 megabytes currently. And to configure and customize the page file, we click on change. Now by default, Windows will select automatically manage paging file size for all drives. So if you want to customize the page file, you uncheck that box and here we get a couple of options. Now, um, I have researched this, uh, this over numerous years and I'm not going to get into too much of the negatives and the positives of each customization option. There's a lot of debate if they actually do or don't work, but I'm just going to go through a couple of options available for the purpose of today's video. Now, the first uh, is you can obviously customize the size manually. So um, the initial size, you can take the recommended, that figure there, pop that into initial size and then the maximum size, you can take the amount of physical RAM you have on your device, times that by one and a half and then pop that into maximum size. Click on set, OK and then apply and then you'll have to restart your device and that will, that clicking on set and apply for any of the customization options, you will have to restart your device. So that's the first customize size option available. Now the second to customize the size, um, is once again you can take the physical RAM available times that by one and a half and you can enter that as your initial 
and your maximum size. And back in the day, um, that was uh, because mo most uh, users were using mechanical hard drives and that was thought to limit the amount of defragmentation, but that's just another customized um, option for the size of the actual page file. And then we have system managed size as mentioned, and then you can also select no paging file, which deletes the page file in the virtual memory from your hard drive, which will give you a little bit more space. And back in the day, um, with users with uh, devices with a large amount of, of RAM, this was thought to maybe speed up the operating system, but there's a lot of debate around that. But you can also choose no paging file, but um, I wouldn't advise that because um, if not enabled, uh, if the page file is not enabled, you might experience a lag in performance or p issues uh, with your operating system. Because as mentioned, sometimes uh, the system is looking for that virtual memory or that page file to dump files. And if it can't find the virtual memory, uh, it may cause issues with your operating system. So just take note of that. And then something else you can do um, is if you have two drives installed on your system, say you are running an SSD for uh, your, your operating system and you have a dotted secondary drive, you can also then uh, place the paging file on the, second on the secondary drive. You can actually delete it from your system drive and you can place it on the secondary data drive as an example and you can just follow the options again as I described earlier. So that's a couple of customized options available that you can try to configure the page file. But my personal opinion, and just through years of tampering with this and researching and just experimenting firsthand, I found that just leaving the default option, automatically manage paging file size for all drives. The default option that is selected by Windows by default when you install Windows that is the, the simplest and the safest, and I found that works the best. And um, configuring a couple of these other options can cause your system in some circumstances to become unstable. So my personal opinion, just leave the virtual memory at the default selected by the operating system. So I hope that helps. I hope if you didn't know uh, before this video what the paging file was all about, uh, that you have a little bit more info now. And I just wanted to share that with you as this is a video I actually have been wanting to make now for quite some time. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.